What's going on, everyone? Thanks so much for tuning back in for the 2024 Legends of the Lake. We are still playing over at Bijou Disc Golf Course in South Lake Tahoe. We've got, like I said, the, the last nine holes of the 27. We're going to be starting on 20, hole number 27. They'll be finishing on hole eight, just in case you guys haven't seen the first two rounds. Um, you got myself, Spanky Edwards, special guest Dave Salazar in the booth. Thanks Patty. for joining us. Thanks again. Safety, <laughs> Safety Ridge Merkley. Safety uh, Ridge Merkley. All right. Safety Ridge. All right. Um, bike right. sale, kind of hanging on to that lead on this card. Again, we, we still don't actually know what's going on with the rest of the field. So Mike's hanging on to that six under. Yeah, guys, uh, he's hanging out there with a three under. A three under, I believe. Same with Alex at three under. Yep, yep. And, and then uh, we've got Zach crept in up to, uh, to four under so yep. far. Yep. Uh, at one point, he got into that one stroke away from Mike, but uh, here we go. Yeah. Six, three, three, and four. They've got nine holes to play, and all th all four of them are starting to look like they're really getting it together. They're moving into some easier holes, too. They're going on to the, you know, moving on to the front nine, so. Yeah. So hole 27 is an uphill. I think uh, this one's playing at, what, 330 feet? 330, and playing a lot longer than that, though. <laughs> always is. Alex is going to get this up. He needs it to flip a little bit. But you know what? He's going to be in an okay spot. He's going to be putting from some bushes. Oh, a little low. Watch this, though. I was very excited. Uh. <laughs> I was very excited to see that air shot because this the backhand flip up through this tunnel, is, if when done correctly, is one of the most beautiful shots. It looks early oh. turning, but it actually... You know what? I was wrong. Looks it's like beautiful. Zach's heating up. He's from Sparks, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, that's a good approach. Yeah. For I feel like for how big of a fairway it is, it's so, it's so usual to hit early. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know why. Oh, he kind of... Just kind of drop that one off a little bit, but on, uh, capitalizing a good drive. There it yes. is, heating up. That's how you do it. I think Zach's pretty enjoying the uh, the weather up here. Being from Sparks, it's <laughs> yeah. quite a bit hotter. <laughs> yeah, down there, you guys. It's in Tahoe. You it's know, almost an advantage for him, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Like he's very probably just very calm. He's like, wow, it's kind of chilly up here. It's only it's ninety. <laughs> Well, he showed 27 what's up. Yeah. Looks like Alex is tapping in for his par. And again, just the one birdie, but here we go. Moving into the actual front nine. Hole one, 333. This is playing by that gazebo back there. Couple of different ways to attack this one. That looked like a, actually kind of a nice kick, to be honest. Yeah, he'll be all right. It kept moving <clears throat> forward, I think. Mike's going to try to get one to go straight and then, yeah. Just like Park that. it and dud in that dirt and yeah. not even get a bad skip away. So this is one of the rare or the only concrete tee pad at Bijou. The only concrete tee pad. Yeah. yeah. My favorite tee pad here. I, 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 <laughs> I agree. <laughs> oh, he said it, folks. Nope. But let's see what he can manufacture here. Like I was saying earlier. Oh, look at this. All right. Like I was saying earlier, if you don't get your drive, just approach and get your par, hopefully, right? Yeah. Just, it's, that's golf, you know, but yeah. I, I think what you're saying is that, you know, here it's more prevalent because it's all doable. You can almost always throw an approach that gets you up for the par. Guy sinking one in for a par. Mike's yeah. happy with that birdie. Great mm -hmm. birdie. Do you know how many pars I've gotten on this course? How many pars you've gotten on this course? <laughs> <laughs> Let me look up Dave Salazar's yeah, stats yeah. <laughs> boop, 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 for the boop, last boop. 30 years. Do you have one of those computer things? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, surprisingly, there was a... Oh, actually, just got one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so oh, there's seven So Mike's on up uh, on hole two. He's got the, the lone birdie on hole one there. Um, 220 feet. This is going to be a... Forehand hyzer for him. There is a Mando early. What you got to do? Oh, what? 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 Woo! <laughs> oh, you... <laughs> oh, my goodness. I did not see that coming. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> On camera, baby. That was beautiful. Oh, yeah. and he let it go. I was like, yeah, that's 
that's how you would like you would show how the hole is played, and then he went in. And he, yeah, he showed us how to play he the hole. He showed us how to play the hole. <laughs> oh, that was awesome! Wow. Great ace. We're gonna have to get Jason and the premium guys to get a little uh, review cam, you know, like a little instant replay. Instant replay, yeah. So, did they all? Beautiful. I'm gonna give him a clap. Did they all go forehand on this? I'm pretty sure there. That was. Oh, I, I. Sometimes you see backhands. Yeah, I actually don't know because I was so excited about the ace. <laughs> yeah, same, same. <laughs> we apologize, folks. We'll keep an eye on this. Oh, look, a guy takes his, uh, gets his birdie as well. Alex hanging in there. All right, so hole three, 288, basically a stock hyzer right hand backhand. Well, by stock, I mean, <laughs> oh, this isn't in the long, never mind. You want to push it out and then have it hyzer out. Yeah, it's like almost the same shot, but then you just throw it flat to start with <laughs> yeah. instead of all hyzer all the way. You know, and this might work actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and it looks like it stayed up top, too. That little pine cone bunker just behind those rocks is a much more difficult to play from than it is if you're just above the rocks. It's messy. It's, it's messy. It's There's messy. no good footing down there, mm -hmm. and it's actually about four, four to five feet down. Zach's going to do a little jump putt. He really wants to be careful, like you said, not to go down, because once you're down there, it's a whole different world. You can see Guy here just a little bit lower. Makes it more interesting. He doesn't care. Doesn't care at all. He doesn't care. What pine cones? All right, Mike's going to get his par and move on. He's going to calm those nerves down from the excitement of hole two. That is the worst part about an ace is you're so excited <laughs> it's hard to throw right afterwards. Oh, this next hole's easy. I got an ace on the last one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Mike. All right, guys, hole four, par three, 432 feet. Pretty wide open until you get to there. And that's when you start seeing some trees. It looks like guy uh, poked through a bit, so he's going to have a look. Yeah, I think he got past everything. Yep, yep. Oh, that just flipped up a little bit too long for him. It was looking nice. He's just going to ask for some turn. He's not going to get it. He's going to want to hit a tree. Okay. There it is. <laughs> Couldn't have asked for a better kick. Black. Yeah. That's yeah. looking really nice. That is a beautiful, beautiful throw. No way. Get He's going to turn here. Ridge around. Wow. <laughs> Good thing he had his safety orange on. <laughs> oh. Wow. Almost nice, used to fireworks. It's a nice bid, though. Nice yeah, bid. Very nice. Basically, all these guys are hoping for on their second shots here is that nobody honks while they're driving by. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh, my gosh, to go long of the basket. Oh, my goodness. That was one of the better drives I've seen on this hole. One time I did it in my dream. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> So it looks like uh, we're just going to par of, along. Bunch of pars, huh? Yep, yep. Not a, not a bad score here, to be honest with you. No. We had a total of zero birdies on hole four today and two bogeys. Are you kidding me? So most people are parring it. No one's birdie. Wow. Um, <clears throat> this is hole five. 368 feet. It's up on a shelf, so you really want to be on top there. In order to have a look at it, obviously you want to be next to the basket. 
But if you don't get up on that shelf, you're going to have a lot more work to do. Yeah, Heisering way left. Well, okay. So that totally shows you how to do it there. <laughs> So if you guys were paying attention... If you rewind and watch that again, <laughs> that's what you're going to want to do every time. Wow. That'll Is that fun. the second hole in a row he's just going past? Yeah. Wow. So easily. It's a good job, Zach. Guy. Wow. Wow. Again, doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't care. He paid no attention. There's a dog park in the background, if you guys notice on this course. He paid it no mind. I'm trying to come up with the good. The dogs were barking. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I give up. <laughs> I think we may have missed Mike's approach in Mike's first putt, maybe. I think but well, he did take his three. And Alex just tapping in the easiest two of all time. Good job, Alex. What is this whole 240? <laughs> 368 uphill. Hole six, guys. 284 feet. Right in front of you. Uh, common play is exactly what you just saw there from Guy. Forehand aiming at that tree on the left. Let a hyzer over. Uh, otherwise, a lot of guys are going to throw backhand. Mid or putter turnover at it. Like clearly, the forehand is a pretty good play. Well, yeah, these guys are putting on a clinic right now. <laughs> yeah, basically going over hole seven's tee pad. You see it out there on the left. Lucky, the luckily they're not out there decapitating anybody. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh, here's the back. And end. there's the back end turnover, which I love this play. Yeah, it's a baby flex, and you can see how beautiful it is. He went uh, just a little long. Which seems to be Zach's modus operandi at the moment. <laughs> He's been doing that a couple times yeah. now. There. Oh. oh, Mike. I think I've seen Mike's missed a few, just barely. You know, he's tick tickling chains. Yeah. Yeah. But he's still at nine under and an ace, so I think he's all right. I hope he can keep it together. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Nice par, Mike. But yeah, these these short ones on the front. I mean, it's under 300 feet. It's wide open. You're you're kicking yeah. yourself if you're not taking down the birdie for sure. And Alex gets two in a row there. Same with Guy. Good job, gentlemen. Hole seven, 213 feet. It is right. It's almost a jump putt away. As they say in California, it's hella tricky. <laughs> it's hella tricky. There's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of a lot of trees in your way, but again. Thank you, Alex, for well, showing us how to do it. What trees? This seeming to be a popular play. I like the the backhand to the with something over stable on the right side. Sure. A lot of people are going to throw a putter right at it. I don't like that. I was expecting Zach to do that. Did he go long this time? <laughs> I kid. I kid because I love. Come on. I think his arm's tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone too long on too many holes. Mike a little frustrated. All right, Zach's going to be like five pars in a row for Mike now after the ace. Zach's going to get his birdie. He hasn't gotten one for about six holes, and so he's, he's not giving up, that's for sure. These guys still have a, a big round coming up. Yeah, this is, it's this is probably, the warm-up. It's probably still before 12 o'clock. It's probably before noon right now, and they got to go over to Zephyr after this. Yeah. So. Wow. But these guys are rolling into their final hole over here at Bijou. Hole eight, it's par three, 249. This is the second shortest, right? It's the B position, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was a beaut. You guys, these trees in front of you are, well, it doesn't matter because he's going around the outside, which is a popular play. That's what I do. Yeah. And then here's the third option. The forehand just scares me because you got to push it over the like. There's OB to the left. OB. Yeah, I like taking it safe inbounds the whole way. So he needs us to not fade out, and yeah, he's okay. He's okay. The stepper. Oh, that's some good height. That's a really good bed. Nice stepper by guy. Steeper. Yeah, dude. 
Mike is showing some frustration, mostly on that putting green, I think. It's just... Yeah. He's all over the basket, honestly. So mm -hmm. all he has to do is clean it up a little bit. Uh, Zach uh, converts again. Two holes in a row. Um, but on, in the next round, it's going to turn into a whole different animal. It's so wildly different. The putting greens look so different, and the drives are so different. The footing is so can be so horrible. Uh, yeah. Alex. Looks like he's putting with a banger. He is, yeah. Yeah. He's going to be bummed to have missed that one. Was that... Zach got the lone birdie there? Anyway. Yep, yep, yep. Three sevens and a nine. Finishing through 27. That bijou. Well, here we go. So we've got Tristan Cook, minus 14, and Ryan Bain. Wow. Mm -hmm. Fire. Ryan Jewel, 13. We got an 11, two 11s. Nate Tolman, way to go, buddy. 11. Yep. yep. Shout out to Premium there. Dean McGill. Dan yeah, Turner as well. Tens. At 10 under. Yeah. But anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. That was a really fun round. Um, that was kind of our like quasi-future card here. And now we're going into Zephyr, and we're going to actually have the actual lead card um, for round two. going to be 18 holes over there, and we look forward to it. Please join us. We'll Thanks. see you real soon. Thanks, everybody. Later.